is day eight of flex alerts across the state and the request is the same cut back on power and avoid rolling blackouts. Yesterday, demand on the power grid hit a new record. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe is live in Rancho Bernardo where several schools there let kids out early today. Rocio. Three different schools here in the Poway Unified School District were forced to release students early for the second week in a row after continuous problems to their AC units. And this is all happening in the middle of this excessive heat wave, and it's impacting not just students and teachers, but parents too. Students in several Poway Unified schools are leaving the classroom early. Very inconvenient. <laughs> Rancho Bernardo High School, Bernardo Heights Middle School and Midland Elementary are sending students home early for the remainder of this week. A parent of a student shared this email with me. The district says that after installing a new chiller, it could not handle the load of providing air conditioning for both Rancho Bernardo High School and Bernardo Heights Middle School. The issues led the district to re-implement early release days. Laura Sapagno works as a nurse and says the changes have made it difficult to pick up her children. It's still very difficult. My husband works nights and he has to wake up in the middle of the, his sleep time right. to come pick up the kids, go back home, so he'll have maybe two hours of sleep. Melinda Huntoon says she's lucky to work from home and have a flexible schedule, but says the issue is impacting students the most. The kids have lost so much learning already. The teachers are already trying to get kids caught up for two years. Now they're trying to get them caught up with this. It's just thing after thing. She's now calling on all parents to attend the district's board meeting Thursday to address their concerns. For years it's actually been breaking down so it's not a new thing. It's not new to this year or last year. It's had problems for years and um, I, I guess just it wasn't budgeted correctly to have it replaced when it should be. The excessive heat wave has taken a toll on the state's power grid. On Tuesday, the peak demand hit a new all-time record. California ISO is urging customers to save electricity during peak hours to avoid power shortages and blackouts. In the meantime, the district says it's bringing in a second chiller to be installed to address the issue, but some parents say the AC units should have been addressed before the start of the school year. There won't be a bond until 2024, unfortunately. We're going to just have to continually deal with these kind of issues, all the schools. New flex alerts could be triggered as the heat wave continues. In the meantime, the district is asking parents for patience as they work to have running AC. Rocio de la Fe, CBS 8.